Hi, everyone. This is Jason Neufeld with Elder Needs Law. I'm here with another interview. And again, I'm doing this interview series because I'm an elder law attorney, but there are plenty of things that, I, that are related to my world that I don't specialize in. And so my goal is to bring you access to resources, give you information in areas that are tangentially related to what I do, but it, I'm, I'm, I'm not everything. I'm just an elder law attorney. And today I am thrilled to be sitting down with Jane Snell Simpson. She's the president of JS1 Construction. She's also known as the lifestyle contractor. And what we're gonna learn very quickly, Jane's not just like any other contractor out there. Among other things, she's a certified aging in place specialist. And that's really important because as an elder law attorney, my goal is when I'm working with my clients to give them the highest possible quality of life that they possibly can. That's what we're trying to do here. That's what Medicaid planning is all about. And sometimes what that means is making sure that they can age safely in place in their home because most of my clients, that's where they want to be. So Jane, I'm thrilled you're here. Please welcome and please introduce yourself. Tell us about you. Thank you, Jason. I'm super, super excited to be here also. Thank you for this. Um, Jane Simpson the lifestyle contractor. I've been a, a general contractor for about 17 years or so now, 17, 18 years. I kind of lost track. <laughs> um, state license. And, you know, I focus on empowering senior citizens and people with disabilities to be able to live in the homes that they love. And we do it by just creating great design and innovative technology for aging in place and senior living to create something functional and fabulous that they're going to love and be comfortable with. It's the right mixture of products and technology um, that's going to move them from fear to freedom. Um, and maintain, maintaining their independence is, is also freedom, right? So I want everybody to just be able to understand that um, our immediate environment plays a major role in our health and wellness and happiness. And that's regardless of your age, that's for everybody. Um, there's a stigma on this age thing. And I get it all the time when I come in and talk to people about aging in place in their home. The stigma mm -hmm. is they don't think of themselves as old, which I totally get, none of us do. And we shouldn't, but it's really not about that. It's a really about just being well, your happiness, your health. That's really what it's about. And if we understand that, that goes a long way in preparing and planning for our, um, our future and quality of life. The second thing I just wanted to say is that, um, you know, Abraham Maslow, his second theory or his theory is second level in this um, hierarchy of our basic needs. That's what I'm trying to say. Sure. Um, the second, the, the um, platform on the second level is actually about safety. And where do you feel most comfortable and safe? It's in your home, it's sure. everybody. And also as part of that same um, hierarchy is physical and, and mental well-being, And it's also um, relationships, social relationships. So you're starting to see how all these things tie in and how your home has to be considered an investment because you're not only investing in this structure around you, but it's your, your health and your well-being and happiness. I love that. I think I think you hit upon a few excellent points. One of them, which I think is really important to highlight, is you're not new at this. You've been doing this for quite a while, 18 or so years, and I think experience is especially important. And the other thing is that you've really taken up a niche. There are lots of contractors out there who do all sorts of projects, but you've decided to focus your practice on this aging in place, making modifications and improvements to people's homes so that they can stay where they are for as long as they want. Uh, so let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about what are the what are typical aging in place projects or home modifications that you're doing that are making people safer and happier and able to stay in the home longer. Um, I would say probably fifty percent of the projects we do our kitchen and bath renovations. Mm -hmm. And I would say probably bathrooms uh, went out. I'll probably do more of them. And I think it's because the bathrooms are where uh, most of the falls take place. Mm. Um, falls are the leading cause of death from injuries among older people. And most of the falls do happen at home. That's, those are statistics. 
Yeah. Um, as a result, home modifications are said to play a major role in reducing the cost of, of fall injuries. Um, the costs continue upward um, because you can think about the caregivers who are taking care of um, seniors. They um, are either stressed and um, they're not working anymore, you know, because of what's happened, or they're contributing to what's happening in a different way financially. So you can see how how cost becomes a problem and how falls now way up there in terms of uh, economics. Yeah, not only that, but falls precipitate other bad medical events. And I'm not a doctor, I can only speak anecdotally, but in dealing with a large elderly population, I see it time and time again, when they fall and they lose mobility, you know, sometimes the mind starts to go after that because they're not as active as they were before. They're confined to a to 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 a to a specific to a specific space. And so, if we can avoid that, I think you're doing so much more for other health. It's not just about they broke a hip and need time to heal. They, we want to prevent that stuff from happening in the first place, if possible, because so many other maladies, health maladies, are tied into that that we can want to avoid if possible. So, I, I think that. Another big fear, and this is with everything in life, is these things are, in, are the, the myth might be that these things are incredibly expensive. And I honestly don't know if that's true or not. And I'd like, love to hear from you, you know, how affordable are these projects that you're, that you're typically doing? Well. <laughs> and, I know, um, you know, and I think, first of all, a few things that I think are important to mention. Number one, of course, everyone's house is going to be different. And so what pro the project for one person's house is going to be different. Also, we're, we're recording this in late March 2021. And if someone's watching this video a year from now, prices are, of course, subject to change. But give us an idea, a range, if you could, for, you know, the, a typical bathroom modification that are going to help prevent people from slipping and slipping and falling. Okay, so a typical bathroom modification would probably be changing out um, toilets. I'll just hit on some of the key points. Sure. Um, we're looking at the toilets being raised higher. That's mm -hmm. a minimum number. That's not expensive to change a toilet out from a low toilet to a higher toilet, just because as you get older, it's harder to bend. We're looking at putting a couple of grab bars around that toilet so that you have mm -hmm. something to hold on to. If you're, you're going down on a toilet or getting up, you wanna be able to, to um, have something to hold on to. Right. Um, in the shower, that's mm -hmm. next area we look at. You wanna have seating in the shower. You wanna have good lighting in the shower. Mm -hmm. You wanna have um, what we call a slide bar which is you, you, you want to be able to hold the, the wand when mm -hmm. the water comes out so that mm -hmm. you have control of that as well. Sure. Uh, we put grab bars in the shower. Uh, again, these are not, I, I don't think of them as just because it's installed because it's a senior right. that may need the extra support. But you also have children, you know, that the same situations, you know, uh, probably the most, requests we get in bathrooms is to do a tub to toilet conversion okay i mean sorry i said toilet a tub to shower conversion okay, okay. that's what i meant sure. because the tub is kind of outlived itself most people don't don't get in the tub and take baths long baths right. they want to just be able to go in the shower and, and do their business and come out and a lot of cases if it's a senior some of them have help and you want to be able to make enough room in there for them to have, you know, someone that you know, if a second person in aid or someone caregiver needs to get in there to help them, they'll have room to do that. So that's why that becomes, you know, a, a, a larger or a bigger request. Sure. Okay. Okay. And so, so what's, so again, if it's possible to give a range for, in, you know, raising a toilet and installing grab bars and, uh, you know, converting the bath to a, a safety shower. What's a project like that gonna cost? So, yeah, I'll go from, from um, well, we were talking about the bathroom and sure. if you redid your entire bathroom, right. it's gonna be investment. Yeah, you know, yeah. if I'm gonna remodel the whole bathroom, we usually start at around twenty thousand dollars and go right. up okay right now if you're looking at just doing 
um, grab bars or mm -hmm. doing a few things in there, obvious, obviously it's less. If I were gonna do just not touch the whole bathroom, right. I'm just gonna do the tub to shower conversion, you're looking at probably half of that, about 10, 11,000 for us to do that. Okay. And so that's half of your bathroom if you really think about it. Sure. Um, if you're gonna do, another thing that we get asked to do a lot are ramps, you know, cause um, doorways going inside, sometimes, most times you have a step of some right. sort. Right. Um, those are low costs, like yeah. under a thousand dollars usually. Okay. Not all, but usually. It depends on how many steps you have and what we have to actually do. Um, one thing that I can say about that is people uh, always want to go to the cheapest or the least cost on that. And I always try to push people to not look, think of it that way because it's your entrance right. in your home. And you want people to, to, you want them to, you don't want to do anything that's going to take away from the front of your home and the way it looks. Also, if I put a, a nice shiny um, aluminum <laughs> yeah. ramp in front, it screams to the rest of the world that a person who may, you know, be vulnerable right. lives here. Right. That's what we don't want that. So if we can do something um, to slope the area so that it naturally looks that way, then that's what we try to do. Yeah, that's great. So you're not just, you know, not just slapping something on there. You're, you're thinking about design form as well as function, which I think is really important. And I, you have a great quote on your email signature. It says, if you think, uh, you know, something, it's something like, if you think getting it professionally done is expensive, try getting it done by an amateur. And I think that's terrific, right? You're, you, a little bit of, there's a little bit of, you get what you pay for with this and uh, you want it done right. You want it done it right the first time. You want it done by someone that, that is ex, as experienced as you. And I think uh, you're, particularly different again because of the niche you've carved out for yourself. This is what you're spending most of your time doing in these, these home modifications. So you're doing it efficiently, you're doing it professionally, and you're making sure that it, it gets done correctly, which is all this stuff incredibly important to keep people safe, keep them in their home for as long as possible. And you, you said something in the beginning, which I thought was brilliant, which is um, you're not only making an investment in your house, right? You're making these modifications that are improving the value of your house or your condo, um, but you're making an investment in your health, right? And what's more important than that? Than those two, you know, as of course, as we age, the investment in your health is 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 inextricably linked with your well-being, and that's incredibly important. Jane, do you have anything else that you want to, that you think is important for us to know? Because you've been terrific and this is really valuable stuff. Thank you, Jason. Um, I would just say if, if I had to give anyone advice and it's, it's something that I struggle with because I know most people don't like planning for whatever mm -hmm. reason, different things get in the way and they just never make it. Right. But planning is what's key here. If you wait until an event happens, there's all kinds of other things going on at the same time. And you're really not as focused as you could be on doing the right thing. You're responding to an event. Sure, and usually sure. there's no time. You've got other things to concentrate on. So I would say um, planning is everything. Uh, we all have goals we want to reach. But putting a plan in place is, is very important. We cannot predict our, our future quality of life. Well, I think that's great. Uh, oh, real quickly, what are you? What are your areas? What counties or cities are you? Do, do you do you provide these services in? Um, majority um, is Broward and Palm Beach counties. Okay, that's majority of what I do. Every once in a while, um, you know, someone will, will call, and it'll be a situation, and I'll I'll go a little little out of that, even Miami or. Um, uh, a little north of there. Uh, Martin, fair enough. I think it's next. Well, Jane, you've been terrific. Thank you very much for, for doing this. I'm going to put you, uh, anyone who's watching this in the show notes down below, you're going to see Jane Simpson's contact information and a link to her website. And I'll put your phone number in there. And Jane, thanks so much for being here today. This is really good stuff and sharing your knowledge and expertise. And we will do this again soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it. Thank mm -hmm. you.